Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today for this stitch tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to work the knit stitch or the waistcoat stitch in a row. If you are curious to see how to work this stitching around, please check out my other videos. I have a tutorial there as well on how to work it in a round. Today we are going to learn how to work it in a row and if you haven't already please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me across social media. I do like to keep these channels updated uh, weekly, sometimes more, and uh, it's a great way to connect and crochet along with friends. So thank you so much for joining me. Today for our tutorial, as we learn how to work the knit stitch in a row, I am going to be using a little bit of worsted weight yarn, which is a medium weight, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. For this uh, tutorial, I started off by making a chain of 15 chains. And then I turned my work and I single crocheted in the second chain and in each chain across for a total of 14 single crochet stitches. So this has formed the foundation uh, for what will be my knit stitches. So a chain and then a row of single crochets. The knit stitches are always worked into single crochet stitches. So to begin working the knit stitches, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Now normally, when you work a single crochet stitch, or any stitch for that matter, you would work under the top two horizontal bars, these two right here, that formed a V on the top of your work. So that is normally where you would work uh, your crochet stitch. When you work the knit stitch, you will be working basically a single crochet stitch, but you're not going to be working it through the top. Instead, you're going to be working it through the center of the post of the stitch that is below it, which will be a single crochet stitch. So here you can see these two vertical bars that form sort of another V when you're looking at it from the back. And you're going to insert your hook right through the center of those bars and in through the back. So if I'm going to show you how to make a stitch, I'll put it back on my hook. So you're going to take your hook, you're going to insert it between those two vertical bars on the back of your work through the center of the post of the stitch below like that. Sometimes it helps if you kind of wiggle it through on an angle. Then you're going to yarn over like you would a single crochet and pull up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over and complete your stitch. And that is how to do the knit stitch. And so you can see instead of making stitches on top of one another in a single crochet, you're bringing it down further. You're making that stitch a little bit deeper and working it through the post of the stitch below. So I'll show you the next one. So I'm going to insert my hook. There's my two, my two vertical posts there. And I'm going to insert my hook through the center. You might have to wiggle it through there a little bit. This is why um, when you're working the stitch, it's very important to keep your stitches loose because you want to have room to work uh, through the post and pull through. So find the post of your next stitch insert your hook through that post, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through. Go on to the next one. Insert your hook through the center of the post with a stitch below it, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through. And you're going to do that all the way across. Keep your stitches nice and loose. I usually find this first row might be a little bit tricky because you're working into a foundation of chains, 
but after this first row I find it usually goes much much easier. So again, there's my two vertical bars inserting my hook through the center of that post between them, pulling up my loop all the way across. Now the other kind of tricky thing to remember when you are working your knit stitches in a row is that when you come to the end of the row you will always want to make sure that you have the same number of stitches that you started with. You don't want your edges to go uh, on the diagonal, you want them to be nice and straight. So that means when you're working your knit stitch in a row, when you come to the last stitch there, you're going to place one final single crochet under the turning chain of the row below. You will always, so I started off with 14 single crochet stitches, you'll always want to make sure that you have the same number of stitches below. And now you can already see that knit look kind of coming out in my work. It's one row of knit stitches. So we'll work on another row together. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now taking a look at my work here to work my first knit stitch, I'm going to find those two vertical bars of the post and insert my hook in between them. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. And I'm going to once again do that all the way across. Two vertical posts, insert my hook right there in the middle, through the post, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. So I'm going to do that all the way across. Again, continue to keep your stitches nice and loose. Makes them again much easier to work in the long run. If you're having a hard time keeping your tension loose, feel free to move up a half a hook size or a hook size. It will help quite a bit. So you'll work your knit stitches all the way to the end of the row. My ear is creeping up on me. <laughs> and then remember when you come to the last one, you're going to want to insert your hook under that turning chain, yarn over, pull through, and finish your stitch. So there you have it. That is how to work the knit stitch in a row. Thank you so much for joining me and once again be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out across social media. Happy crocheting! Bye!